Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Today, Adobe updated Lightroom Classic CC to version 7.4, and this update includes the usual bug fixes and lens and camera profile updates. In this video, I just want to talk about a few of the interesting things they've added to this version of Lightroom. Now, first of all, they've added the ability to add a color label to a folder. And to do that, you would just go to the library module and go to any folder, let's say this abstract folder, and right click on it. And then you would go down to add color label. And let's say I just want to add a yellow color label. And you can see now the folder has this little yellow color label. Now, the ability to do this allows you to better find specific folders. So you could color label important folders. And at a glance, you'll be able to find those folders when you have a lot of folders like I do. Also, if you search for folders by using the search bar at the top, you could easily find the color folders by clicking on this little magnifying gla glass that is way over in the left hand corner and you could go to labeled folders and when you do that you'll just have the labeled folders showing so it makes it very easy to find your most important folders and those are folders that you give color labels to the other thing they've added to this version of Lightroom is a way to better manage your profiles and presets. So we would go over to the develop module and to access the profile browser you would go to the basic tab and click on these little bricks over here. And you can see I have all these different profiles in all these different groups. I could designate which groups actually show and which kind of disappear. And to do that, just right click on any of the groups and this menu pops up and go to Manage Profiles. Now you have this uh, Manage Profiles dialog box appearing and let's say I want to get rid of the artistic, the modern, and the vintage profiles. So I would click Save and you'll see they're now gone. Now you didn't delete them from the disk. We could bring them back very easily. Just right click on any of the profiles again, go back to manage profiles and then just add them back. So you could um, remove or hide any profiles that come with Lightroom as well as any profiles you purchase from a third party. And you could see my profiles that I sell are down here as well. So if you find you bought the entire package of profiles I sell, that which includes the infrared profiles, but you don't have an infrared camera, you could just unclick that box, click save, and it will remove it from my group of profiles so you don't have to be bothered with it since you would never use it. Another thing you could do is manage your presets. And to do that, it's a little different. Instead of right clicking on any of your presets, you click on this little plus sign up here and go down to manage presets. And the same thing, you could uh, add or remove, or I should say add or hide, hide or make appear any of your preset groups. So let's say I never use grain, sharpening, and vignetting. So I want to get rid of these three presets. I would just uncheck those boxes and click save. So those are now gone. If I want to bring them back, I would again click on that plus sign, go to import or go to manage presets, and then recheck those boxes, and then click OK, and save, I should say, and then they're back. Now, the other addition they made is when you create a panorama or an HDR image, you could stack that finished image with the other images. So you could create a stack right from the get-go. So this helps better organize your film strip. So I have, to demonstrate this, I have these two images, which I want to merge into a panorama. So I'm just going to select both of them on the film strip and there's various ways you could enter them into the panorama function of Lightroom but I'm just going to do it by right clicking on the image and go down to photo merge panorama so I click right there and it will go through the panorama merge preview and create this preview now you can see there's a new checkbox right here called create stack 
When you have that checked and you click Merge, as you can see in the top left-hand corner in the progress bar, Lightroom is creating the panorama. And once it's created, it's going to create a stack down here in the film strip. And all three images, the two original images, and the third resultant image, which is my panorama, will all be placed in a stack. And there you could see it right there. Now we have our stack. You could see it says three because there's three images. Here's our panorama. And if I want to cl um, collapse the stack or to open the stack, just click on the number three. And we opened up the stack and there's our original images and our panorama image. So those are the most significant changes in this version of Lightroom. Admitted, admittedly, they're not like life-changing uh, changes. They're just kind of nice additions to the program. That's it for this video. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.